Uh, good afternoon. Uh, today, I am delighted to share with you the advanced option studio that I will be offering this fall titled Beyond Lord and Taylor, a new commons for the American city. This advanced option studio will take the former Lord and Taylor flagship department store on 424 Fifth Avenue in Manhattan as a point of departure to rethink how the department store typology can be reconceived as a new 21st century commons for the American city. In doing so, the studio will explore how the department store typology, mostly vacant and rapidly disappearing, can be reinvented and given a new lease on life. Flourishing in the early years of the 20th century, the modern department store rapidly became a key institution of American society and a symbol of economic stability and progress. Generally housed in buildings of architectural importance, the department store simultaneously provided the necessities and luxuries for urban life. From clothing to restaurants, to train tickets, to phone booths, the department store was a unique aggregator of goods and services under a single roof. With thousands of visitors a day, the large department store served as a common landscape that entertained and employed a wide host of social groups, becoming one of the most important social condensers of their time. Yet today, a hundred years after many of the monumental 20th century department uh, flagship stores celebrated their grand openings, their role as aggregators of goods and services has been abruptly taken over by online retail, leaving many of these facilities seeking a new lease on life. The case of New York's Lord & Taylor, the oldest department store in the United States, is no exception. Established in 1826 on Catherine Street, Lord & Taylor opened its crown jewel store at 424 Fifth Avenue in 1914. With over 600,000 square feet of space, the 11-story building was a state-of-the-art facility designed by the famed New York office of Starrett and Van Vleck architects. A beacon of retail on Fifth Avenue for more than a century, the main Lord & Taylor store closed its doors on January 2nd, 2019, unable to compete with new online stores. The department store, was, uh, the department store building was sold to the troubled company we work, and after a short tenure, we work sold it to Amazon. Ironically enough, Amazon, the largest e-retailer in the world, now wants to place its New York City headquarters in the beloved former Lord & Taylor building. Today, as Manhattan faces ground floor retail vacancies of over 25% and an uncertain future regarding office space, the time is right to rethink the future of iconic city buildings beyond their systematic transformation into condos or office space. Using 424 Fifth Avenue as a point of departure, this advanced studio will examine how the iconic Lord & Taylor building can be transformed into a new commons for Manhattan. A beautifully detailed elevation combined with a rather rudimentary 22-foot structural grid, the former l and building has the potential to be significantly altered in its generic exterior while preserving its beloved exterior. If in 2005, the quite elaborate vertical section of the New York Downtown Athletic Club, also designed by Starrett and Van Vleck, was stripped and flattened in order to transform the tower into condominium apartments. This studio will work on an inverse operation by transforming the repetitive floor plates of the department store into a more complex sectional condition that will endow the building with a new physical and experiential identity. Working at the confluence of historic preservation and design innovation, students will be asked to develop design projects that incorporate new social, cultural, educational, and recreational facilities within the bones of this historic building. And in doing so, imagine the spatial and institutional frameworks that can construct a 21st century common landscape. Some of the key questions asked by the studio include, 
What role should the 20, 20th century department store buildings play in the urban landscape of the 21st century? What collective programs and uses can this 20th century structure accommodate in the 21st century? Can Amazon's corporate headquarters coexist with a more socially oriented set of programs? How do we shape space by sub subtracting as well as adding built mass? The first portion of the studio will focus on research. Three key topics will be investigated. A, the architectural legacy of the department store. From Chicago's iconic Carson Peary Scott and Company building by Louis Sullivan to New Orleans' famed Maison Blanche, the department store building offers invaluable lessons on the role architecture can play in transforming the act of commerce into a rich spatial experience. For this portion of the semester, students will be asked to research the architectural history of the department store in America and understand the complex spatial and social ecology of these houses of retail. B, from the YMCA's to the 1936 Summer of Pools, this line of research will examine the role the public and private sectors have played in constructing social recreational infrastructures for New York City throughout the 20th century. C, commons in the 21st century. From the SESC network in Brazil to the recently implemented polyclinic programs in Singapore, the studio will examine the most significant design projects that bring together cultural, social, and recreational programs, as well as the larger social contracts that make them feasible. For the second portion of the studio, students will be asked to develop a clear spatial analysis of 424 Fifth Avenue, and in doing so, conceptualize potential transformations for this building. For the third and longest portion of the semester, students using all the preliminary research as a reference will be asked to develop a design proposal for 424 Fifth Avenue. The project will combine the physical transformation of the building with new social contracts that would facilitate their implementation. The studio is open to all eligible architecture and landscape architecture students, yet it is important to note that the project will require significant architectural resolution. Representation workshops will be run in collaboration with Professor Devin Dobrowolski, and Holden Miles and Philip Shores will serve as course assistants. The studio will be complemented with a series of guest uh, lecturers covering a wide range of topics from history to building technology to representation. Rather than focusing on an extensive list of deliverables, the studio will focus on constructing a smaller but detailed set of drawings, carefully crafted pieces that convey the spatial and tectonic ambition of each project. I look forward to working uh, with all of you uh, this fall. Uh, thank you.